Housing discrimination? Call Metro Fair Housing Council. From your friends at Vive Alive, Jack Bowen, Jerry Harris, Jerry Park, Wayne Shadow. This is Vive Alive News Tonight. Good evening. The polls have now closed in Oklahoma County and Canadian County tonight, and the results are in in the six mayoral and nearly a dozen city council races in the metro area. In Oklahoma City, three council races took center stage tonight. In Ward 1, the race was between incumbent Bob McCoy and former city police chief I.G. Purser, and Purser has won over McCoy by a wide margin. In Ward 3, it was incumbent Jack Cornett against John Sanders. And Cornett was victorious over Sanders, again by a pretty wide margin. And in Ward 7, there were several candidates with incumbent Gory James facing three challengers, Jackie Franklin, Norma Burroughs, and Clyde Madden. Gory James won over the other three, garnering 1,826 votes. And in Edmonton tonight, Jerry, there's been one city council race, that in Ward 4, and it appears there will be a runoff between Randy Dawkey and Steve Wilkerson. Quickly, the figures, uh, Wilkerson came out with 328. Bar, there you see. Some, no, mm -hmm. that's the wrong race. Wilkerson came out with 328 votes, Dockey 205, and Bob Burnett in third with 187. Again, a runoff between Wilkerson and Dockey. And in the mayor's race, there you see Carl Rearman uh, coming in second. He's the incumbent mayor. So Yvonne Nichols, it appears, the winner with 2,500 votes. And it appears she has more votes than both Rearman and Inge together. But the question is, is there or is there not a new mayor in Edmond tonight? Five Alive's Terry Watkins is at the headquarters of Yvonne Nichols, the leader in the Edmond mayoral race. Terry, there seems to be something of a controversy going on here. Well, only a very mild one right now, Jerry. As you can see, the supporters for Nichols, a very tired group, has gone home for this evening, and they're preparing probably for an April 2nd runoff. You've got some questions about that. With me is Yvonne Nichols. Hi, Terry. How are you? Do you have some questions about the plurality vote in this? Well, the city charter does not make any specific provision as to what happens when a candidate receives a plurality. In the election this evening, I received 55 percent. And our charter simply provides that the two top candidates will go into a runoff on April the 2nd. And I assume that's what we'll do. And we'll win that one, too. Okay, how are you going to win that one? We're going to do the same thing that we did in uh, the last four months. If you pray for potatoes, you have to reach for a hoe. And my workers have worked endlessly, and we have uh, just an unending amount of support, and we're going to continue to do the same thing. Okay, thank you very much, Siobhan. Well, while the Nichols supporters here believe they have a winner across town, they aren't admitting defeat. Carl Rearman supporters say they have lost a battle, but they haven't lost the war. The crowds that gathered and Rearman himself believe they have their work cut out over the next two weeks. I think that when you consider there are 30,000 voters in Edmond and less than 5,000 showed up to vote today, there's still an opportunity for us on April 2nd to pull us out. I think what we have to do is go out and talk to the voters, and we have to, to show the voters that my opponent's been making promises that she cannot keep, and during the next two weeks, we're going to hear a lot about those. The way you run your campaign? Yes, No, he wouldn't. I didn't knock anybody. They knocked each other. I tried to give them a little program that I thought was progressive. And if that's not what the people want, that's fine. So from all appearances right now, there will be an April 2nd runoff between Yvonne Nichols and Mayor Carl Remen. Both of them say they're going to win that one. Jack and Jerry? Jerry, what do you think? Did the voter turnout today affect the outcome? Well, the voter turnout in Edmond tonight was about 1% of the registered voters, which is not all that light or really all that moderate for a city council. It's, it's pretty normal. So basically now what we're going to see is just which candidate outworks which candidate. Jack and Jerry? Okay. Thanks, Terry. Now, in other mayoral races in Oklahoma County, in Bethany, it's James Faulkner over C.C. Kuykendall. In Dell City, Mike Chavez over Carol McElvoy. In Nakoma Park, Leland Fox over John Cutshaw. And in War Acres, it's John Rost over Gary Cohen. Now, in national politics, President Reagan is halfway to an MX missile victory tonight. Today, he went to Capitol Hill to lobby senators to vote to build 21 of the missiles in fiscal 1985. Later, the Republican-controlled Senate voted to spend one and a half billion dollars for the project. Now the issue goes to the Democratic-controlled House for a vote scheduled next week. The four-and-a-half-year-old war between Iran and Iraq is continuing to escalate tonight, with both sides claiming attacks on the other country's cities. 
Iraq reports air assaults on five Iranian cities, while Iran claims another of its rockets hit Baghdad. And hundreds of foreigners have left Tehran after the Baghdad government threatened to shoot down commercial airliners starting tonight. Meanwhile, leaders of the Arab countries in the Persian Gulf are prepared to send in a mediation team to settle the war. Still to come on Five Alive News tonight, there's a split level in the construction industry. And a possible end to an enforced separation between depositor and his money. Those stories and more next. In the years since it was invented, the automobile has improved. Auto service hasn't. Till now. Introducing the new White's Auto Center Plus, where we promise to fix your car right. And it's not right until you're satisfied. The work we do will be done on time. The bill you get will never be more than the estimate you approve. We guarantee our work. We guarantee our parts. We promise. Sure could have used you boys 50 years ago. <laughs> White's Auto Center Plus. All you need to know about cars is us. <laughs> It's a new morning. It's a good time for a McDonald's taste. You're gonna find in a fresh baked biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese, crispy bacon. It's the one for me. It's a new biscuit, crack a fresh egg. Top that bacon with fresh grade A, bacon, egg, and cheese. Cause it's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Stop by your local McDonald's today for the new bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Only 99 cents plus tax at participating McDonald's restaurants. It's a fresh baked way to start the day. to a credit union it works for you when you belong you like the things that credit unions do when you belong to a credit union it's your credit union it belongs to you when you belong to a credit union it's your credit union it belongs to you a message from the members of the oklahoma credit union league just because you can save $140 on this washer and dryer is no reason to run out and buy a pair. Even when they're loaded with features like four wash cycles and a choice of three water levels, not to mention a dryer that can sense when clothes are dry and shut itself off to save energy. And even though they're Kenmore, America's best sellers at their lowest prices ever, it's no reason to race out to Sears and buy them. You've got until Saturday. There's more for your life at Sears. Some bad news for the housing industry tonight. Housing starts, the number of new construction projects on homes, dropped 11% nationwide last month. Here in Oklahoma, the numbers are way down, too. But it's mostly because the market is trying to let demand catch up with supply. Oklahoma doesn't have a true glut, but there certainly is a surplus, and it's reflected in the housing figures the past two years. In 1983, about 15,000 new homes were built in our state, but last year the number dropped below 10,000. Home builders think turning that figure around will be tough. Last to recover out of this nation in uh, economic development and of uh, the recession. Now we see ourselves at the bottom and we got to grab, everybody's got to work at this and pull ourselves out. To make matters worse, interest rates have already begun rising some and banks are beginning to tighten credit, so some prospective buyers are deciding not to wait any longer. But tonight is as good a time as any to invest in a house. While that may seem a bit overzealous, realtors are extremely excited about the current housing situation. Interest rates are at levels they haven't been at in years, and the prices of homes make it for a buying market. The house prices have moderated. Uh, as we know, inflation is down, and the availability of mortgage money at very modest rates is available. So uh, this is a great time for a home owner or a home buyer to purchase a home. There is still hope that interest rates will fall further, but Gamble says people are really tired of waiting. In Oklahoma City, you can find apartments galore, but tenants to fill them aren't so plentiful. Members of the Apartment Association of Central Oklahoma say the supply far outweighs the demand, and it could take five to seven years before it balances out. The apartment glut is the cause of a sharp decline in apartment construction starts. The U.S. Commerce Department reports nationally new building plunged 36.6 percent in February. In Oklahoma City, construction peaked in 1983, just when the oil industry hit rock bottom. In 83, 651 building permits were issued. More than 7,000 apartments were built. In 84, less than 300 permits were issued for an additional 4,000 units. There are now 75,000 apartments in Oklahoma City, and apartment association members say that's three times more than the community needs. 
Here's something to look forward to tonight. St. Louis-based Ozark Airlines is coming to Oklahoma City with more reduced airfares. Starting April 15th, you'll be able to go to St. Louis for $99 one way. Ozark normally charges $199 for that trip. The airline will offer three flights a day back and forth and 138 flights a day from St. Louis to more than 60 other cities around the country. An attempt to buy Frontier Airlines is still pending tonight. A Tulsa-based group representing Frontier employees and other investors is asking for 60 more days to put together financing. Frontier lost $31 million last year. Jerry? In Ohio tonight, lawmakers are still trying to come to agreement on a bill to reopen privately insured savings and loan associations. 69 of them remain closed since Friday by a gubernatorial order after the collapse of a Cincinnati thrift. Governor Richard Celeste is trying to get federal regulators to ensure the shutdown banks to prevent a run on deposits. Still to come on 5 Alive News tonight, Wayne Shattuck says a flash flood watch covers most of the Sooner State. Stay with us. Did you know Dillard's Record Day sale is the largest sale of the season? It's store-wide, so you can save on lots of things, like these mix-and-match styles from Devon, or these by Catalina. You'll save on these pretty designer sheets and Martex soft cotton bath towels. Even my husband's favorite Aero dress shirts are on sale. Dillard's Record Day Sale, now through Saturday. Don't miss it! Fire sale! Fire sale! Hold it! Nothing's on fire! The boss said move them out or we're fired. Get it? Oh, you mean we have hot deals! That's right, and no reasonable offer will be refused. We'd better look at some unreasonable offers. You're right, so come on in now and save hundreds of dollars at Reynolds Ford in Norman during our fire sale. <laughs> Don't look at me. I didn't do it. Reynolds Ford. If you don't buy your furniture from Bob Garrett's, you'll be throwing your money away. Big money, because we consistently have the lowest prices around. Visit the other stores, get their best prices, then hurry to 301 Southwestern where you'll save on every item, not just a few advertised specials. And our interest rates are the lowest in town. And you may qualify for $2,500 instant credit with no money down. We're open every night till 8 and Sundays from 1 to 6 at Bob Garrett Furniture, 301 Southwestern. There's renewed determination throughout farming. We're getting tough, looking for ways to increase profitability. And one key to greater profits is having a strong co-op in the community. It can contribute to your success with competitive prices, quality products and services, and most importantly, a commitment to the family farm. By working with your neighbors through the co-op, you can make a difference. Together, we can put more profit back into farming. Going to need umbrellas tonight. And oh, more. yeah. Uh, it is raining over many, many sections of Oklahoma right now. We're going to continue to have rain. Some of it may be very heavy, enough so that flash flood watches have been posted over a good deal of the state. We'll show you just where a little bit later. But right now, light rain is falling in Oklahoma City. We do have 55 degrees. And our winds are out of the east at 13 miles per hour. The relative humidity, 93%. Barometric pressure, 2993 and steady. Our satellite picture tonight shows all of Oklahoma engulfed by cloudiness and under much of this cloud cover, there is rain falling. You can see it on the National Weather Service radar. Look at this. Much of the state covered by rain. We have no official amounts yet. This rain started in uh, the metro area at about 7 o'clock tonight. Here at 5 Alive, we reported a quarter of an inch of rain so far and much more is yet to come. The only good thing I can tell you about this is it's light to moderate. There's no uh, heavy weather, no severe thunderstorms anywhere in the state tonight. We're not expecting any across the state this evening. Our highs today in the state were pretty mild, 60s and 70s all over Oklahoma. Oklahoma City had 66 for a high today. And this evening we are not dropping fast. Still 50s and some 60s being reported. Winds out of the east-southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, I want to show you our satellite picture across the entire country. You can see very quickly we have one big patch of cloudiness in the central part of the country, right in our backyard. And that's the main weather system going on in the country right now. What we have happening is, first of all, at the surface, we have high pressure to the east of us, low pressure to the west of us, and that is sucking up tons and tons of moisture out of the Gulf. 
Now that, working in tandem with an upper level low over the eastern sections of New Mexico, is helping to produce the precipitation in Texas and Oklahoma tonight. As the upper level low moves eastward, that rain uh, shower activity will continue, and some of it possibly could be heavy. In the southern one half of Oklahoma, we could have up to and maybe just over two inches of rain. And that's the reason for the flash flood watch for tonight and tomorrow. Here's the precipitation tonight from Texas all the way back up into New Mexico, Oklahoma. Here's a very narrow band of lighter shower activity up the Ohio Valley. It turns into snow in parts of New York State, a little more additional uh, snow in northern sections of Maine, and some snow and rain in uh, sections of Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and southern sections of Utah. Also, mostly rain in the Pacific Northwest, up around Stampede Pass, they're getting a little bit of snow. And now our advisories tonight, again, the flash flood watch for the southern one half of Oklahoma. Travelers advisories for mountain snows in much of New Mexico for this evening. Tomorrow, our forecast map shows rain in the Pacific Northwest, rain and snow in parts of Utah, or rather Idaho and Montana, and then that big band of rain from Oklahoma and North Texas eastward to the central and southern Appalachians. For Oklahoma tonight, again, the shaded area, including Oklahoma City, is in a flash flood watch for tonight. Lots of rain expected in the state. Lows from the upper 30s to the mid 50s. Tomorrow, the flash flood watch will be dropped in the southwestern parts of the state. Our highs will be from the upper 40s to near 60. Here's the Oklahoma City forecast. For tonight, rain, thunderstorms, a low of 48 degrees. Easterly winds at 10 to 20. Tomorrow, more rain and thunderstorms, 55 for a high. Northeasterly winds at 10 to 20. Now, the rain will be ending sometime tomorrow night. We'll have a low of 40 degrees with northerly winds at 7 to 15. Then, partly cloudy on Thursday, 60 degrees. Partly cloudy, 64 on Friday. And another system hits us on Saturday, thunderstorms and 66 degrees. Again, no severe weather in the state tonight, but we could end up with some pretty heavy rainfall amounts. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. We had a nice breather in between. That's right. Nice <laughs> highs, too. There's celebration in San Juan Capistrano, California tonight. The Swallows return to the old mission there today as they have since the 1700s. Come back to Capistrano. That's the day you promised to come back to me. When you whispered farewell in Capistrano. Still to come on 5 Alive News tonight, a baby war. We'll explain. Stay with us. Muffins. Spread the word. One block east of Meridian, behind Applewoods on Reno. You always get a great deal on a tough Chevy truck at your Metro 7 Chevy dealers. But for a limited time, you'll also get 8.8% GMAC financing, which could save you up to $2,000 in finance charges. And you can get free air conditioning. 8.8% financing, free air conditioning. Two great reasons to see your Metro 7 Chevy dealer now. Get the spirit. Fresh, clean, spectacular. North Park is out to color you spring. Dab on yellow. Brush on teal. Splash on fuchsia. Spring, we're in full color at the park. North Park Mall. Street repairs due to excavation can be a real headache because settling dirt requires repatching time and time again. But now, Ditch Witch helps you avoid these problems with Permasoil, the revolutionary soil stabilizer that gets the job done the first time. Permasoil works because it dries, bonds, and strengthens all types of soils, which prevents settling under repair sites. Best of all, traffic can resume almost immediately. Permasoil, Ditch Witch, now available through a special introductory offer. Expectant parents are being torn by a new kind of competition between hospitals on the north side of Oklahoma City and Edmond tonight. The competition is crib clubs. Clubs offer free gifts, free childbirth and care classes, and even hairstyling for mom. Part of their goal is to educate parents about their upcoming baby, but a large part of it is to entice the baby business, which is usually up for grabs. 
quite often when people come up with a, an illness or in need of a surgical procedure, they go to a specialist or they go to a physician and then he tells them where he practices and where they would go for hospitalization. Um, having a baby is something that you know about uh, at least eight months in advance. And so there's a little more time to decide where you want to be. In this battle for the babies, the casualties are light, and the winners get the most beautiful prize of all, a newborn infant. Another baby trend is picking up momentum across the city. It's the idea of keeping the mother and baby together as soon after birth as possible. Deaconess Hospital has begun moving baby in with mom 12 hours after birth. A nurse then takes care of them both, letting the parents watch the care for the infant so they can duplicate it at home. Some sad news tonight, a two-year-old Midwest City girl is dead after receiving burns on more than 70% of her body. Young Kara Road was safely outside her home, but then re-entered today. A man went in after her to try to rescue Kara, but he received burns and is listed in serious condition. Firemen say the child may have re-entered her burning home to retrieve a security blanket. Investigators are still trying tonight to identify a murder victim. The body of a woman believed to be in her mid-50s was found along the Turner Turnpike today. The corpse was at the bottom of a 40-foot embankment, 12 miles east of the Turnpike's Oklahoma City gate. The victim had been stabbed several times. War Acres police have arrested a 66-year-old Oklahoma City man in connection with a hit-and-run fatality late last night. 21-year-old Bobby Ray Dunham's motorcycle fell over last night on the Northwest Expressway. As he set it aright, Dunham was hit and dragged more than 200 feet. He was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Police still want to question a possible witness, described as a woman with blonde hair driving a large brown four-door sedan. The woman was seen stopped at the scene of the accident. She's being asked to contact the War Acres Police Department as soon as possible. Well, on a much brighter note in sports, basketball has Dr. J and baseball has its Dr. K. Jerry Park will have that and more coming up. The BMW 5 Series is composed of two luxury sedans. The 528E that embarrassed the automotive establishment with sheer technological prowess and the 535i that embarrassed it with sheer performance. Which one should you choose? That depends on which part of the automotive establishment you'd rather embarrass. Test drive the ultimate driving machine at Jackie Cooper BMW. Hey, guys, how does a fish dinner sound? Sounds good to me. Now at Long John Silver's, you can get three fish fillets, fries, creamy coleslaw, and hush puppies, all for one special price. Sounds like a taste in a place I want to be. Sounds crisp, sounds light, but there's a crunch in every bite. Long John Silver's. Three-piece fish dinner for a special price. Sounds good to me. In winter, your furnace gets a lot of use. It's important to you to make sure it's in safe working order. At Drabeck and Hill, we can do just that. We'll send a highly trained serviceman to check any brand of furnace for safe and proper operation. And we'll even do it on weekends. If your furnace needs replacing, we'll give you a free estimate on replacing it with a new carrier furnace. Drabeck and Hill, service when you need it. Oh, yeah. Often imitated, but never duplicated. If you're looking for value and price, come into Decorative Center at Reno and MacArthur tomorrow. Here's just a sample of what you'll find. This is a full 90-inch sofa, today's styles, today's colors. Normally, you'd pay $5.99. Coming tomorrow, it's just $348. Matching love seat, just $297. If you need the sleeper sofa, $398. Here's the perfect accent chair. It glides, it swivels, very limited quantities on these. Coming tomorrow, just $248. Decorative Center, where we make you the very best furniture buy. The Norman City Council has voted 6-3 to three tonight to keep its city manager. That decision came at a public council meeting. City Manager Jim Crosby has this reaction. Well, I'm very pleased that uh, the council voted to retain me, and I think, as I stated all along, we've done nothing wrong. We've done our best to serve the public interest and to serve the public, and uh, feel it's time that we put our differences aside and, and move forward.
And the vote was six to three to retain Jim Crosby. Well, some voting on baseball rankings. It sounds like some respect for some Oklahoma teams. There certainly was, but it seems like there were more voters in Miami and uh, down in Texas than there were in Norman uh, uh -huh. in the baseball poll. Major college baseball rankings have Oklahoma rated third in Oklahoma State, 12th, with Miami of Florida first and the University of Texas second. The Sooners today played in their home park for the first time in a long time, taking a 7-1 win from Oklahoma City University. Pitching today for the Sooners was Olympian Bobby Witt. He pitched eight innings, gave up only four hits, and struck out 11. Witt ran his record to 2-0 this season. The Sooners now 17-1. Next for Oklahoma, doubleheader Thursday with North Texas State. OSU hosts Wichita State <coughs> Excuse me, in a single game tomorrow. Around the New York City area, they have a new hero. They call him Dr. K and he's just barely out of his teens, but already he's a superstar. The National League Rookie of the Year is using a new pitch this spring. Dwight Gooden is trying to add a changeup to his repertoire of fastball and curveball. Using these two pitches last season, he set a major league stri record for strikeouts by a rookie fanning 276. This season, Gary Carter will be catching Gooden, and the Met 20-year-old pitcher expects a lot of help from Carter. So it's been you know, a lot of stealing bases, and now I'm more relaxing with him. He's going to just tell me they run if I just send back there. Gooden captured the imagination of New York baseball fans with his strikeouts. Every time Gooden got a strikeout, a K would be tacked up at Shea Stadium. Gooden claims he's just thinking about outs, not strikeouts. In the game, I don't really find how many strikeouts got to like. After the game, I find out how many strikeouts, like, and then how many walks and, you know, how many wild pitches I threw. Then, you know, I worry about that. You know, I never I really got into it until one day I was in the leg out and, you know, between innings, and I happened to look up and see the K's in the corner, and, you know, it was thrilling. I think it's something nice to get the fans going, and when you got the fans like that on your bike, you know, it's just a tremendous feeling to have. Well, at only 20 years of age, Dwight Gooden is the most talked about pitcher in baseball and the owner of a brand new contract that will pay him a minimum of $350,000 this season. Yeah, it's been all, you know, moving pretty rapidly and a lot of things you just think whether you're sleeping or is it really going on and um, something to think about, but you don't really want to get caught up in it. It's just some things that make you want to work your much harder. And that was Dwight Gooden. Well, there are problems in New York tonight for a former New York Yankee star. Joe Pepitone was arrested early today for possession of cocaine and a handgun. Police arrested three men when their car was stopped after running a red light. A policeman said he was surprised when one of the men identified himself. Recognize him? Uh, he said, I'm Joe Pepitone. He was wearing a cowboy hat. We looked at him, and he was Joe Pepitone. Uh -huh. Three NAIA coaches are looking for work tonight. Bob Banfield, men's coach at OBU, leaves after seven years, saying he feels the school is de-emphasizing basketball. And the OBU women's coach, David Shannon, also quit after only a year. And Panhandle's Ed Weidenbach has resigned to go back to school. United Press International has named its coach of the year in major college basketball. The choice is Lou Carnesecca of St. John's. Funny-looking sweater at all. Well, Thursday afternoon in Dallas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana Tech in the Midwest Regional of the NCAA Basketball Tournament. Tech doesn't think that anybody can beat them twice in one season. Nick Cornett has more. Oklahoma shut down Louisiana Tech in the first meeting, winning 84-72. Despite an occasional dunk, it was an off night for Wayman Tisdale, and it was also an off night for Bulldog star Carl Malone. I think he's... Very big. <laughs> it's about 6'9", 255. No, uh, I think he's a great player. I, I played against him in the Pan American trials, and I'm not sure if he was at the Olympic trials. I don't remember too much. All I remember is Coach Knight, but uh, <laughs> I remember him at the Pan American trials, and he, him and I guarded each other the last day of the trials, and I had 23, he had 22, so I guess it's going to be a battle from now on out. The Sooners are favored to beat the Bulldogs again, but few expect it to be a 12-point win like last time. Tech has lost only twice this season. They don't feel like they'll wind up losing twice to Oklahoma. Mick Cornett, 5 Alive Sports. The game is set for a 5.30, that's right, 5.30 p.m. tip-off in Dallas. And finally tonight, it pays to play pro football, especially if you make it to the Super Bowl. Well, they've split up the money from this year. Winning 49ers got $64,000 a player. Second place Dolphins got $44,000 each. And even the wild card teams did all right. About $6,000 a player. Mm. But the Dallas Cowboys and those who didn't make the playoffs didn't get anything but their high salaries. It's incentive <laughs> to get there next year, though, isn't it? That's right. You know, $64,000 to a guy who makes $800,000 a year doesn't seem like a whole lot. <laughs> but it's the prestige of the thing. Yeah.
There's a lot of prestige in $64,000. Nice. Yeah, Not no bad. kidding. Many teachers tonight are preparing for their school day tomorrow. How much time they spend at it is an indication of the dedication it takes to teach school. That is also a question on a recently completed survey by the Oklahoma Education Association. 44,000 teachers were polled on why they became educators. Would they still be a teacher if they could do it all over again? And what makes them stay? It's an effort to find out the morale of teachers and what can be done to improve it. Coming up on Five Alive News tonight, airborne messages could be worth big money. Stay with us. Hi, tell the folks that Sight and Sound will not be undersold. Okay. But quietly. Of course. Friends, at Sight and Sound Appliance Centers, we never have a sale because our prices are lower 715 days a year. Yes, friends. Sight and Sound is blowing away the competition. But what about the specials? A Whirlpool Super Capacity Washer only, two eighty-eight. A seventeen cubic foot Whirlpool Refrigerator, four twenty-eight, and a Whirlpool Automatic Dishwasher, two twenty-eight. Hurry to Sight and Sound Appliance Centers with stores throughout Oklahoma. I'm Gary Ball, Marquis Furniture. We carry a lot of the same furniture that the big city stores carry. Roy Hill, Thomasville, Burlington, Riverside, and hundreds more. It's the same furniture, but not the same price. We simply sell it for less. We guarantee it, and we put it in writing. Shop our competitors, then pick the Marquis store nearest you, and we'll save you money. The same furniture, but not the same price. That's at Marquis Furniture in Shawnee, Enid, and Weatherford. We won't be undersold, and we mean it. Are you falling into the department store trap? High prices, gimmicky sales? Gotcha. Don't pay department store prices. Especially now, because when Ross opens a new store, all Ross stores will celebrate with more merchandise, thousands of designer fashions, and quality brand names. The selection has never been bigger or better. Save me, Ross. We'll save you 20 to 60% every day. Come to the Ross store grand opening celebration and save 20 to 60%. Ah. Choose a career at Drawn's College. Your success begins when you enroll at Drawn's. Secretarial, word processing, computer programming, medical assist, travel and tourism, accounting. Take your pick. You can get there fast when you enroll at Drawn's. If you feel four years is too long and expensive, call Drawn's College and be a success ahead of your time. Night classes, too. Gonna have to dodge the raindrops going home tonight, huh? Keep that umbrella out, That's right, Wayne? Right, That's exactly right. <laughs> it's pretty wet. But I want you, I want to give you something else to think about. There's something special tomorrow, and we want to show you what it is. Spring oh, begins tomorrow, good. officially at 10:14 a.m. But it's coming in on a soggy note. We've got uh, lots of rain between now and tomorrow night, so much so that there is a flash flood watch for the southern one half of the state, and it includes Oklahoma City. Jerry. When there was a first last night of the USFL football game between Houston and Denver, it seems that Jack uh, Jim Kelly threw a pass to Vince Corville. The referees said that it was complete. So Mouse Davis protested. And upon watching the replay, they said, Mouse, you're right. He was out of bounds. Oh. The first time that they've overturned a referee's decision by watching replay. So it does work, I guess. That really does, especially, I guess, on the really flagrant stuff. Huh? It really yeah. does. Finally, some young Oklahoma City students are wondering tonight if they'll win a $500 prize for their school. Kindergarten students and first graders at Millwood Primary School sent their return addresses out by air mail today. This balloon release program is part of a nationwide program. The one that's returned from the farthest away will earn a $500 prize for the school where it was released. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Maybe one will get to Australia, you think so? There's no telling with our wind. <laughs> no right. telling. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Good night.